up, it's your girl Tara Marie. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing, focusing on the Denman brush. So I'm gonna be showing you today how to get maximum definition using this lovely little thing right here. If you wanna see how I got this, please keep on watching till the end of the video so you don't miss any of the steps. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my curly girl videos or makeup tips. So, and also give me a thumbs up. I always forget that step, but make sure you give me a thumbs up also, and let's get right into it. So I was thinking, let me put on some makeup for this, but it's late, I just got off work, I'm tired, so you're getting the 100% raw Tara today. So. I just got out of the shower and for my shampoo I use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Shampoo. For my deep conditioner I use the Curls Blueberry Bliss Deep Conditioner. And then for my leave-in conditioner I have the Talia Wahid Green Apple and Aloe with Coconut Nutrition Leave-In Conditioner. And I apply this in the shower because I get the most it just feels better and I feel like my hair absorbs it a little bit better because it's soaking wet and that has a little bit to do with my porosity so if you would like to see and learn a little bit more about your hair porosity and what process may work best for you i'll go ahead and put it in the i card up here but i'm going to go ahead and move on to the rest of my steps for my styling products today i have my main choice pink lemonade and coconut curl boosting sherbet and then from the same line i have the super antioxidant and texture beautifier mousse so we're gonna go ahead and do work with these today. So I went ahead and took my hair out of this bun and I grabbed a couple of my tools that I'll be using. I'll also be using a hair tie. You should be using one thicker than this, but I can't find mine, so I'm just stuck with this today. And then I also have a couple of these metal clips. I have my wide tooth comb, and then of course I have my Denman brush. So to start, I will be parting my hair down the center. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'll be looking in my mirror, so excuse my weird angle. And then you can choose whatever side you want to start with to make sure that the sections are as even as you can get them, just so that you have even product distribution. But I'm just going to go ahead and twist this up and put it out of the way. And my hair is dripping wet. That is really important to make sure or at least for me, if you have hair like mine, make sure that your hair is dripping wet. If your hair is on more of the lower porosity side, you can apply it to maybe like damper hair, but I, I wouldn't never dry hair, never apply your products to dry hair. Either dripping, sopping wet, or almost dripping, sopping wet hair. So I'm just separating my hair into four sections and then once I have this section I'll go ahead and detangle it using my wide tooth comb and if you need to get your spray bottle to dampen or soak your hair a little bit more you can go ahead and do that so the section of my hair is detangled I'm gonna go ahead and apply my styling products now I'm gonna start with that sherbet and I take about this much, I'm actually gonna take a little bit less than that. I'm gonna take this much and just smooth it through. I don't detangle with the Demon brush just because I, I don't like to use it for detangling. I like to use it strictly for just styling purposes and clumping the curls, which is what its specialty is. So I just rely on my wide tooth comb just to go ahead and get those last little bit of tangles out. And detangling with the wide tooth comb first makes it a lot easier for the Denman brush to glide through your hair when you're trying to clump your curls. So that's another reason why I like to detangle with a wide tooth comb and then style using the Denman brush. So next I'm going to go ahead and grab my mousse. And I always like to take two pumps of it and that's about how much two pumps looks like. And then I'll just go ahead and apply the mousse to my hair as well. If you use a gel, I like to use the Demon brush before putting a gel, just because it, for me it, it can make my curls a little stringy looking, just because the gel is thick and it doesn't clump as well. 
if you have a really thick gel, I may, uh, it might be better to use the Demon brush after you apply your cream styling product and then scrunch the gel in your hair. But if you have one of those watery gels, I think you're fine. And then if you're using mousse like me, you'll be fine also to apply all the styling products and then use the Demon brush. So for my Demon brush, I have removed two of the rows. So you can see I removed um, the second to the outer most row on each side. I did have every other row removed, but then I feel I, I felt like that was too many. So stuck the middle one back in there. So this is what I'm working with. So how I like to use my Demon brush, I'll go ahead and start it at the ends of my hair and just work it this way. I don't do small sections because my hair clumps better with when I do just the whole section. I also don't bring the Demon brush all the way up to my root because it will make my root frizzy. So I'll go ahead and do it this way and run it through a couple of times. Give it a nice shake and then scrunch that baby up. And as you can see, my curls, let's see, my curls are nice and clumped together. Actually, I'm gonna, for just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna test and bring this Demon brush up just a little bit higher to see if I still get frizz in my roots. But if you're another person that gets frizzy roots when using the Demon brush that high up, you can also try the technique of taking it maybe right at the end of your hair, wrapping it around, and then bringing it down that way and giving it a shake and then a nice scrunch. And then you'll have the nice curly ends and it'll be beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this same exact process to every other section of my hair and then I'll be right back to dry. So I finished applying the same steps to all sections of my hair and now I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse. If you wanna see exactly how I diffuse, I'll put my full curly hair routine in the iCard in one of these corners right here. But basically, I diffuse. I don't like to air dry my hair. I put it on warm, low heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair and then I'll be right back to show you the finished results. So I'm back and my hair is about 90% dry. It's a little flat right now because it's one, the first day I just did my wash and go and I never have volume right afterwards. And two, my hair isn't completely dry. So in a couple of days or so is when my hair really reaches its maximum volume. But these are my results. Super, super defined. Like, you guys see how juicy these curls are? Like, I don't want to mess it up because I don't want it to frizz. But look at this one. Like, this curl is super juicy, super bouncy. And that's one of the reasons why I love the Demon brush. So I hope these tips, not these tips, but just like how I like to use a Demon brush helps you maximize your definition and maximizes your curl pattern and really helps you get that bounce and that juiciness that you're looking for. So thank you again for watching my video. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Join the Terror Squad, you'll love it. And give me a thumbs up. And then if you want to check me out on Instagram to see more of my looks and mini tutorials, you can follow me at Beauty by Tara Marie. And I will see you next time. Bye.